ladies and gentlemen, you got married. When did you get married? In April, is that right? In April. How's that going? It's going well so far. Who, who is uh, your lovely wife? We have some photos of her right here. Uh, oh, do you? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. They, they, yeah, they, Brooklyn they, Decker yes. is her name. Whoa, buddy, nice, nice hey, job. Hey, stop it now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, how let's, did you uh, uh, how did you meet this lovely girl? I actually uh, I stalked her a little. No, you didn't. Yeah, I, I I did. Um, my uh, rationalization was that it wasn't stalking if she did you know if uh, if she didn't like it. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if she liked it, I did, if she liked it, I didn't consider it stalking. Yeah, good ma'am. Yeah, taking an odd turn here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and and of course the key is not so much the speed, but the speed com combined with the accuracy of the thing. Well, you know, you got to put it in or it doesn't count. That's right. <laughs> okay. And you. Your, uh, your, your girlfriend is Mandy Moore, I know. Yeah. That, that, that's nice. <laughs> you had a 150 mile an hour serve, give or take? 55. Who's counting? 155. Yeah. No. <laughs> Claim it, right? Yeah. So what's the difference between having a 155 mile an hour serve and having a 120 mile an hour serve? What is the mechanical difference? 35 miles. Like, I, <laughs> Сломана ракетка, но сегодня самые разные варианты того, как можно проводить в негодность инвентарь. А мы с вами видим. Ну что? Now, this is, this is between you and me. I don't want you giving this to Nadal or any of the other guys. I don't think he wants me to give it to him either. <laughs> well, I tried. Uh, yeah, sorry, Pete. I know. Uh, I tried to hold him off. Uh, uh, with your serve, because you have a very fast serve. Hard. I, I've... It's, it's killed a small dog. Yeah. yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. The dog was huge. <laughs> I want to thank you for your humor. I didn't, I've never, no, really, your, your sense of humor today has been really good. I haven't mm -hmm. ever seen this in any interview you've done before and anything, and I really appreciate it. That, that's great. Oh, well, really well, well, thank you. I feel wonderful. like I should have a joke ready for you. No, 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 you've already had plenty, so it's thank okay. you very much. Good. Thank you. All right. Annual charity event. And remember, this is one of the most coordinated athletes in the world. There's actually no cool way to recover from that. Uh, second of all, oh, me too. Thanks. <laughs> um, when asked about his injuries today, you know, mentioning the right ankle, as opposed to the left ankle the other day. Yeah, no, both of them. Yeah, both. Of them. He, yeah, you know, and a back. And a back. And a hip. And, and what? And he said and there, there's too many to count. And cramp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get the sense right now that he is bird flu? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah. Beijing hangover. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's got a pretty long list of ailments. Uh, SARS. <laughs> SARS. <laughs> Common cough and cold. Got, got a lot of things. He's, yeah. He's got a lot of things going on with him. Sure. You think he's bluffing? You think he's. No, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure. what you're saying. It seems I'm, like you almost feel that he may. No, I mean, if it's there, it's there. There's just. There's just a there's just a lot you know he, he you know he's either he's either quick to call the trainer or he's the most courageous guy of all time you know I think it's up for you guys to decide and you come uh, pretty close to winning that does that now put you uh, in a better frame of mind for a, another match or is that put you at a are you in a bit of a hole here or does are you now in his head more than you ever were oh yeah if, if there's if there's one thing people know is that uh, I'm in Roger Federer's head definitely um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's I respect him. I think he respects me. We always have a good laugh when we see each other in the locker room. And I try to push him over and injure him. <laughs> well, I've told him before, I'd love to hate you, but you're really nice. <laughs> you just unfortunately can't have it all, you know, and that match well, you, was, you was can. so... Well, you selfish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, but... 
First of all, I'd like to congratulate Roger. You're starting to become very, very annoying. Um, I just wonder what you have to do against this guy. Yeah, more in the mood for a beer right now. Um, Yeah, I mean, you run out of options because he's become such a complete player. I mean, even even two years ago when I lost to him in the semis, uh, you know, he's become he's improved so much since then, which is uh, which is impressive. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll just punch him or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's another option. You know, it was a pretty good final. You had some looks. You had a, a break point chance in that first set. You broke in the second. It was shaping up to be something pretty good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, and then Roger started being Roger again, yada, 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 super. Um, he does that on Sundays a lot, doesn't it? Um, Talk about playing Roger. You've been playing for him for over a decade. Your relationship on and off the court, the respect you have for each other. Well, I think it was pretty, pretty clear tonight that uh, I'm obviously in Roger's head. And uh, he didn't quite know how to deal with it there. He's, uh, he's, nor he's not very good under pressure, as you saw in that tiebreaker. Um, you know, so I just I just played to that. Yeah. He hasn't figured you out yet. Yeah, he has no idea how to play me. So, um, you know, I, I just uh, I just capitalized on that. <laughs> you just being there at the end of that. It was frustrating. You know, it was miserable. It sucked. It was terrible. Um, besides that, it was fun. And just take us from four all on, because up to four four you're in the match, and then you got broke. I get broken, and then I got broken three more times, and then I got broken two more times in the third set, and then it was over about 26 minutes later. <laughs> Is that about what you saw too? Or? Yeah, no, I saw that. You're right, Haas or Gonzalez's chances against you. Slim. My performance here is better than on court. My performance here is better than on court? <laughs> <laughs> <They're laughs> <s> <laughs> Toughest guy you played against? Oh, it was Roger. Um, you know, he, he kind of ruined my tennis life for about a decade. <laughs> but... Exo time. She was so quick out of the block, she didn't see the rocket. Do you get defaulted from you hit a ball kid in a no. 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 One guy plays the tweener better than the other. Yep. Look, she doesn't even see it. Ooh, that was close. And he should have hit one earlier in the rally. He did nothing yeah. with that little shot. That was too low. But I remember I lost to this guy who looked like he, we were playing an ATN under tournament and he was a little overweight and had a, had a big beard and <laughs> uh, not someone that you envision yourself losing to if you want to go pro. And I remember I took all my rackets and we were on a practice court one day. They went over the fence. I went home. Uh, that was in England. And I went uh, back to the States with no rackets in my bag, no nothing. And so I kind of calmed down for a week and coach said, you have two months before you would have to start thinking about where you'd want to go to school. Why don't we just make the most of that two months and see what happens. And then six months later, I was the number one junior in the world.